I already got you a card, man. You give me two. She gave me three. She gave me three. <laughs> That's good, dude. Damn. Oh. I have two, too. <laughs> I only got one. Welcome to Curiosity Public. I probably blew out my mic right then. My name's Dutch. My name's Jules. <laughs> Delightful Dylan. Sorry. I don't know what came over me. It's the soil work. It just made me want to scream. Uh, all right, guys. Welcome to yet another episode of our Ultimate Spirits Competition. Our quest to review every sipping spirit on the face of the planet and subject it to our crazy hard 100 point scoring system. And in this episode, Calumet, not 14, not 15, six I'm bones, 16. 16. <laughs> uh, that's right, a new release. Uh, by the time this review comes out, it'll probably be- uh, An old release. An old release. Two years old. <laughs> but this is the newest release from Calumet Farms, the 16 year old single rack black Kentucky straight bourbon. And this one comes at us at 106 proof. Let's mm. take a look at the label. S similar style of label. They've got a racehorse and they've got info on, you know, the jockey well, and they grow. the trainer and the horse, 16 race win streak for this triple crown winner citation. Cool call, cool stuff. 16 year old, look at that. We got rack number, we got a 15, oh, sorry, a 19 barrel batch for this particular release, non-chill filtered, 106 proof, 16 year old bourbon. I believe a Barton distillate originally, but uh, the brand claims that they take all the barrels from Barton or they took them over a decade ago. Mm. And they've been aging them themselves and caring mm. for them and figuring out when they're gonna release them. So yes, mm. it is a non-distiller producer, but uh, a very curated one. I guess that's how we would call it, right? <clears throat> yeah, I think, um, Once you I, I don't know, I, there's a weird thing where um, the community initially thought that this is one of the, um, similar to some of these other releases with the tote. Mm. Yeah, the 15 year stuff that kept popping up. Yeah, and they Houston, thought it was part know. of that, but um, I think when, I don't know if we reviewed the 15. We did. But I thought it was uh, pleasant, and I know. Wasn't I think, that your pick of you, the year? You said it was bourbon of the year, man. I yeah. think they, um, I'm glad that they came out and they completely ignored us. <laughs> Doesn't matter what, what we I say. think they clarified that, yeah, like, like they had said. This is not one of those. It's, it's not, not part of. The, it's not one of the yet. totes. Right. Um, and some of those totes, very good bourbon. Not I mean, bad. the Doc yeah. Swinson. Yeah, it's really yeah, great. Yeah, Doc Swinson. Fantastic stuff. Um, but yeah, they they are doing their own thing with this. So right. at least that's what they're claiming. So they, are they going to really lie? I mean, they literally wrote it out on right? Instagram on a post. I mean, they could put it on their website if they wanted to be more transparent. But that's transparent. That's actually very nice of them to do that. Um, all right, guys, uh, let's get tasting. And scoring. Look at that color, man. Mm. And look at the legs on this thing. Oh my gosh, look at the syrupy. I mean, that's something you only get from a well-aged bourbon, you know? That is impressive. And for uh, members of Curiosity Private, we are going to be comparing this to the 15-year-old iteration that bourbon, uh, that uh, Dylan called his bourbon of the year last year, I think it was. Whoa. Well, he said contender. He said contender. Right. Um, and interestingly enough, the 15-year-old came in at 105, the 16-year-old coming in at 106. I kind of like, kind of like what they're doing here. It's kind of funny because uh, I know that the 15-year stayed on the shelf. Because, it's just sad. Because a handful of people, I think, gave a little bit of a misinformed review and information. <laughs> And I felt like, <laughs> no, I felt like, I felt like that's fine. That was fine because at Costco, you could get it for like $99. I just spilled <sighs> a lot of whiskey. It's just a splat of If Dylan ever wanted to take a picture of what? my spilling. This is the time to take a photo. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. Here we go. Now, I want to get take the Calumet in the picture because. They won't pose it. Yeah. That's how much I just sloshed out of my glass. And you can see my. Uh, it shows how. Yeah, Dutch doesn't care about did. 16 year bourbon. I care. I care. I care. I'm just sloppy, apparently. Mm. I haven't even tasted it yet, and I'm already mm. spilling it all over the place. Mm. Ooh. Oh, yeah. What is this? What is this on the nose? It's a, called a bourbon? It's a bourbon. Oh, I know what it is. Citrus. 
No. Lemon. It's not that either. Price point? Uh, 145. 145? Or is what we paid. Probably 150 or 150, but. Dylan, you reading somebody else's review over there? No, I'm just Let's trying figure to figure out what to you the think. Right Whoa. <laughs> Ironically, Whoa. the score I just went up on a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, don't stress in this one. I think I could be talked up. Me too. I could be, I think mostly talked up on this. Mm. Mm. But let's say, let's get into it, guys. Let's get into our scores. But first, Jules here is going to tell you guys about our scoring system. We do have 100 points across 10 categories that include aroma, flavor, body, complexity, balance, finish, uniqueness, drinkability, aesthetics, and value. However, we rate flavor at 20 points. Uh, I said it's in value at five points each, and you can medal in our competition. You score 60 and above. You go from bronze, silver, gold to the elusive diamond. And let's get our initial scores again. Everything can change. We're going to talk about this, and things can change. My initial score 79. Whoa. 80. I thought I was going to be low. Mm. 82. Oh. Well, we're, we're very clustered. Actually, I mean, we're, yeah. yeah. So this is yeah. we're all in, that, about right. in the same range. Pleasant. So. I, I, my, what I kept coming back to is, I don't know what's wrong with this, and yet my scores are seventy-nine. Can't score. no, I perfect. have some hints of it. I, Me too. And I'll, I'll, I'll yeah. have to elaborate I, I on that. It, it, it's almost like the Matrix did a better job at, at constructing a bourbon, like a sixteen-year-old bourbon, and they're like. Mm. But at, at some level, I'm like, you still know it's fake. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, because I, I'm not, I, I don't I know, know what why. I'm missing. I really because don't know Because there are elements in each category where it's like, oh, it's not perfect. Exactly. This is where it's missing the mark. Yeah. So yeah. let's start with aroma. I give it an eight. Same. Eight. I gave it a nine. It, I gave it a nine. It's really good. It's I got good, a, I got a, but the ethanol hit is really strong for me. It wasn't ethanol So it was me. taking it away. I got fruit and I got berries, which mm. was so unique to me. Mm -hmm. Now that's making me second guess my uniqueness I, category. But like, I went to the flower more than the berry, but yeah, I did I, get I a lot of the floral. fruit. Yeah. yeah. Um, I got the honey, and what I liked about it is there was just a touch of that wood. You know, it's not tannic at all, but I can I it's can get a hint of it. Though, dude. Um, you know, it, it's it's, yeah. it's almost um, you know mm. they they did so. Yeah, like uh, a blueberry good. raspberry. I mean, they mm. were really good at blending it for a bourbon lover. I don't know how to yeah. like describe mm. it. It's just, uh, it's like, you know what? The, 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 the distiller probably I, said like, okay, the blender's like, okay, this is what the bourbon lovers like. Mm -hmm. We need, we have to check all of these off. Mm. We might not get like the robust um, uh, yeah, components, but we, actually do want to check everything off. I gotta go up, I'm going up to a nine. And that's why I felt like they check off a lot of, yeah. a lot of the uh, it's boxes, all man. It's, it's all there. It's a, it's a really- I, I don't know what moment. else I'm looking for and I, that's why I have to go up to I nine. want to comment on that. I do have a, a comment. On the nose? Well, I want to talk about it in now? the flavor. Okay, well, no, you're yeah. staying at an eight? Yeah. Okay, let's move on to- oh. What? Hold. Hold. I'm holding. Oh, <laughs> like I thought, I thought you were like, oh, the camera's oh, not no. working or something. Like, stop. Well, okay, stop. All right, flavor. Uh, another category where I really think I could go up, but I ended up at a 17. 17. 17. Yeah. So, wow, we all felt the same, there I feel like this. Missing. Sugar but, and sweet. Oh, and only my that. goodness. But here's what blew it's me away. Just, is that I, there was a slight uh, spice, but it was mostly on the finish for me. I agree with but, that. Yeah. I got stewed, mostly stewed level stewed, fruit. Yeah. But I got a chocolate coming through Ooh. on this one. Like a, like a milk chocolate, like a sweet chocolate that was, that's why I feel like I should go up a little bit because I, I there's things in here, mm. but I feel like you kind of have to tease them out. No. But you know what it is? It's like, it, to your point with chocolate, it's, it, the, the chocolate is there, I'm getting that now, but it's not like it's incredibly exciting. And I think that's yeah. why I can't go more. It's like, you it's like I mean? somebody it's like, checked off a box on right, the menu. So like, like I want these flavors in my drink right. and then, the computer made it. And I gave it to you, <laughs> but like, there's no nuance that, you know, I, I will, sets it apart. Uh, I wanted to talk about my 17. Um, so recently I had the great privilege of uh, getting the uh, Pappy Van Winkle 15 year. Mm. Uh, last year's, yeah, yeah, last year's release. And 
you know, I tasted it again. I wanted to see, I wanted, I tasted that and I thought, okay, why do I, why, why is Pappy Van Winkle so hyped, right? So again, reminder, I have an old Pappy Van Winkle 15. I compared it with a new one and all that stuff like that. And so that's fresh in my mind. And I'm, I'm comparing this with that 15 year. And what that Pappy Van Winkle 15 year had was that it had all the components this had except it was just dialed up. Mm -hmm. So like every single flavor component, the quote unquote honey barrel, what you would get in a weeder, right? Um, you, you, you check it off, but then it's amplified. Each, each of the columns amplified. Here, I think it's checked off, mm -hmm. but it's not amplified. Mm -hmm. yeah. if, I feel like yeah. what they did was they did, they but, used I mean, the like, dilution. Just to clarify what you're saying, different flavor profile, mm -hmm. but you're talking about like levels. Mm -hmm. right. right, and, and checking things yeah. off, right? You, if you drink that, you'll say, okay, wow, this is yeah. it, cinnamon, not only is cinnamon sweet, sweet yeah. and it's rich, mm -hmm. this would you say, wow, this is sweet, you know, it has the spice and all that, but it's hard for you to say it's rich. It's in, almost like like a hard leveling that's been turned down. I don't know if that'll make sense. It might make sense to Jules, but like, if you think about Pappy, it's like, okay, they've spiked the cinnamon, they've spiked the sweet, they've spiked some of this woodiness, and it's so good because they've spiked all the perfect things. With this, I feel like they've raised everything up perfectly level to here. And it's like, it's like maxed out, but then they just really leveled everything out to like this. Mm -hmm. Right. And it's just like. That's exactly that. So it's yeah. not, yeah. so I'm not faulting the flavor for missing something. It's more like- The way it's presented. Why, yeah, why is it yeah. so mellow? You know, it, it, yeah. it's just, it's just But, so, but to, a, to a new bourbon drinker, this might be the thing to go for because it is very approachable to me. I mean, but, obviously for the price. Not for the price. And, it's expensive, but, yeah. but if you want to start getting This is readily age, available. Age and, age and you know, the, the, the one thing yeah. is, I think uh, the bourbon community, um, at least anecdotally from, I, I was like, this is all hearsay, but they're saying that Calumet was not as reviewed well, I guess. Again, I haven't read any of the, the reviews, but that's what they said. And I, I was like, that's fine. Uh, more for me and uh, easier for me to get, yeah. the, get the things that I like. I think if you really like that sweet, um, well-aged uh, flavor uh, with a breadth, and variety of flavors in a bourbon. This is a this is a nice introduction, and you're not going to be put off by it. All right. Well, we got to keep moving. Let's move on to body. Um, I, I really like the way this sat on my palate. Eight. Eight. This was the flaw. I gave it a six. Ooh. What are you talking about, yeah. dude? This yeah. is no. I'm getting like the. I get no flaw. No, I, I think I think again, you're mixing well, it up flaw, with flavor. But... I think you're mixing it with flavor. I don't think it's the body. I think the body is toned down. I, I disagree. With I that. want I want it cranked up. I want it syrupy. I want more of the flavor to coat my mouth. I'm not getting that. Mm. I think there's just enough. No, I yeah. think I think you're mixing up flavor and body. I don't think, I think I body is very different. This, the heft of this is, I think it's solid. I think if anything, because it's all been leveled out, it yeah. kind of comes down in this yeah. brick, and it really it hits the palate. Still sits on well. your palate, though. Yeah, it still in a good way. There, I so, think. Yeah. No, I think I think it's a foam brick. I don't think it's a real brick. I I think mm. you could see the brick. I can you can you you appreciate the brick, but it's actually there Hollywood. Is no yeah. spoon. Yeah, it's just. I foam. understand what you're saying, but I disagree. Let's move on to complexity. Eight. Eight. Gave it an eight. Oh. Uh, yeah. Again, checking off the box. Checking yeah. off the boxes, yeah. but but like elevated. Yeah. Not, it's not just a five. No. Yeah. Like this yeah. is an eight. This it's is not middle of the road. There's a no lot way. here. Yeah. yeah, it's not nine or ten because I really wish I could explore it's more of like maybe of the jammy fruits, yeah. maybe a little bit more of the flower variety. Yep. Which is a great segue to balance, yeah. where I gave it a seven. Because I wanted mm. that a little bit more. I give it an eight. I gave I, I gave it an eight also. Yeah. It's saying the same thing. Same I see your point thing. though, because you're making me th no, rethink to because go Because this is where I feel like it because was like. Because it's not that. Oh, no, it's too, I know. It's I, I want to give an balanced. extra point. No, no, no. I, yeah. There you go. No, but it's too balanced. But it's, too it's too almost too balanced. No, you know why? Because There's no the anchor. Body, that's worth you. No. You should have taken the points off body. I, I get what you're saying, but I took it off your balance. I think we're saying the same things. Mm. You applied it to body. I applied it to balance. No. Jules didn't apply it. I'm kind of. No, no, no. I think. I think. You know, mm. what you are working with is you have breadth of flavors, but you Agreed. don't have the depth. And so I think the depth is where I, I usually score in the body, 
but you cannot deny the breadth. Come on, this this has got to be, you know, uh, up there. It's eight. It's eight. Agree to disagree. Let's it's move eight. on to no, finish. No, we're not moving forward. It's eight. Anyway, finish eight. <laughs> finish eight. I gave it a week nine. I can see that. I gave it a week. Yeah, nine. I can't see that. I it's started weak. at an eight. It's I started at an eight, but you know nine. what happened? You know what happened? It needed to last a little longer. Yes. You know what? Thank you know what you. happened? I got this really pleasant melon finish I that I'm getting it yeah. right now. And I said, you know what? How it sits is really good. I'm, I, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like I, you know, I think about all of the bourbon that I had to try because mm. of the show, oh, and and a lot of them really young and all this kind of weird stuff. You know. Random ages, six, seven, eight year, barrel and you know, picks and all the stuff. You know what's, what's interesting about the length of tail of this is like, it goes from what you're saying, it goes from like, okay, now I'm getting a little bit of wood. And then now this sweetness comes back almost like minutes later. So I, I it's am- It's like melon. I'm gonna it's go like, up, um, I'm gonna go up on this because I, I'm agreeing with you just the way I'm tasting, I'm still tasting it. There's, mm -hmm. a, there's a little, little, little uh, yeah. soupçon of- um, I'm gonna go to nine. A Melon. Cinnamon, a little bit of the yeah. spice too. It's very pleasant. It is. And I, I can't deny that. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to give it a nine. It's pleasant. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Sticking? Sticking. Hold. Let's move on to uniqueness. Seven. I gave it an eight. I gave it an eight. Tell me another 16 year old bourbon exactly. with this flavor profile. 16 year old. That's what gives it a seven. If I were to come back, if, if I were to go to a random person and to explain to them, hey, how is this unique? Mm -hmm. I'd be like, well, it's 16 years old. And that's about it. No. Nothing on the flavor profile. I mean, it, it just, it's just, it's really, it's like that it's paint by numbers thing. No, this is, like is going to be a, a crowd pleaser. Computer amalgamation yeah. of a really amazing bourbon, but mm. is, it more, is it more unique than that? I mean, that's unique, but it's, it's unique also, because it's, it's accomplished that? You know what? It's unique because it's a you seven don't, unique. For, for a 16 year, you're, you're not getting overly tannic. It's not over. Yeah, it's not overly tannic. Okay. Um, it's all flavor. The the, and, yeah. the nice thing is that the whiskey community uh, always reviews uh, the Calumet not as well, so that means it's <laughs> readily available. So um, that's value. That, so that means that that means that you know um, I would be able to say, hey, you know what? You should go pick this up. You know, you should go yeah. pick this up if you're if you're willing to spend a little bit more money and you want to, you know, it's not as it's not going to be the pappy, although that's a weeder. Again, look, you're pointing to all things that are not related to the flavors. And I and I understand that, but I gave it points for that in value, I think. And I, I just don't Man. I think you're convinced. You know what I'm gonna say? There's you know nothing unique about the flavors of this. They're all really good, but it's not an eight. And like seven. the presentation it happens is not unique. Yeah. So you're right. I'm dropping. I disagree. You're going to I what? disagree. I'm going I don't I don't see what a... can replace it right now. I get I am gonna give no, it the No, no, points. just tell me just uh, I, okay, look. Dylan, if I agree you can, with you. If I'm you can name two other bourbon. I'm agreeing with you. Okay. Bourbon. Two other bourbon. Bourbons. It's plural. Not if you say the bourbon. <laughs> but that's value. I give it the points on value there. I'm not going to give it the points on unique. That's because you convinced Because I convinced him. He convinced me. Yeah. You're just you're no giving... man. Don't follow from that. The... He's fighting <laughs> you know the system a little you know too hard. You know what it is? It's know? like the other. It's, it's the same thing. You're starting to sound so desperate. No, no, no. You know what? Desperate Dylan. It's that. You know, um, self pleasuring circle that he's part of. He's joined it, okay? Don't, no, he brings don't, up a very valid point. Don't, don't be 16, part of that. All I can don't say be part of that. for this 16 year Calumet is. You want to you be, be part of that circle? I mean, of you sheep. brought up, you, seriously, that's how I would describe this. That's aesthetics me. almost. Yeah, I know, seriously. All right, guys, we got to keep going. Not let's, from a flavor. Let's get to Fight drink. The power. Let's get to drinkability. Uh, this is super drinkable eight. Yeah, I give it an eight. I give it a 10. I could see that. I could totally That's see exactly that. That's exactly what you would I give could, it. I, I'm sitting here and I want to keep drinking it. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to give it a 10. I'm going to go up to a nine. There's I don't no think way you're going to stop. This is so good. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. I, I mean, just Man, starting from the aroma. It's not a 10. Like, I go, okay, it's aroma, a nine. boom. It's a nine. It's getting there. At most. It's a nine. You got to go up to a oh. nine. You know you got to. Oh. You know, you know, if we were not sitting here filming, you'd keep drinking this. I would. Yeah. You're right. All right, I'll go up. I'll go to nine. Damn you. 
All right, guys, moving on to aesthetics four. I give it a four. I gave it a four. Good looking bottle. Yeah. Nothing to complain Fits about. Fits within the class. Uh, looks good. Looks great. I wish shelf. this, I mean, you know, I, I guess mean, it's, it's on the, the, It's got it's, the history the, with the farms, horse racing. I was, I always initially thought, like, should they make the 16 a little bit more bold? More but you know what? No, no not when aligned way. with the 15, it, it lines way. up. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys, value four. I give it a three. I give it a three. You guys are both wrong. For everything you guys have just been saying, 16-year-old bourbon at less than $10 per year that's this good and totally justifying the price, I think you guys are out of your minds. In this market, the fact that this isn't priced at like $300 is amazing. And you need to give it the points there. Mm. You have convinced me, yes, you are correct. For the price and the fact that I mean, I docked it because of the. You price. know, I'm sure. I'm sure this will get. You know, a part of that. Part of that. One forty five. No, no, no. The 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 part and of the one twenty five sold. Look, I understand. This is going to be part of the the <laughs> self pleasuring circle, and that Dutch is part of. You know, the the the, the, the eyes wide shut thing, um, and they'll probably not pick this up, which is fine, and so therefore the price will remain where it is, and maybe you'll get a little bargain. Um, I'm gonna go pick this up. Yeah, I'm gonna give this as gifts this year. Yeah, this yeah, is the one. Four. This yeah. is the one. Yeah, I agree with yeah. you. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. They'll need villas. Villas. Okay. Uh, so you went up don't, to a four. Don't be part of the self self pleasuring circle, okay? I'm part of your self pleasuring circle, apparently. Okay. <laughs> Whatever you're planning, count me out. <laughs> count me it's out your too. circle. I don't have a circle. That's what I'm saying. I'm a loner. You're a square. I'm a loner. Don't be such a triangle. What? That's a rectangle. <laughs> it's a it, parallelogram. It's... <laughs> don't a you know geometry? That looked, geometry? Actually, that looked like a wrong boy. Don't you know the Dewey Decimal <laughs> System? <laughs> wow. Uh, all right, guys, let's get our final tally. Uh, I got to double check my score because I changed <laughs> it so much. Really good, dude. I have the same thing, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the aroma is awesome. I, it's, it's again, like I just had that. I, I just had that Pappy 15, and I'm like. Comparable. It, this is this is a uh, mellow, and I can't believe it because that weeder, you know, this is not a weeder. Right. And yet. It invokes that little weeder honey. That's just like a little touch of it, that drop. Oh, wait, what were we doing? All right, guys, let's get our <laughs> final tally for Calumet 16. I ended up at an 82. 81. <laughs> no, I just added it right there. Okay, are you sure? Because <laughs> yeah. on your calculator, it says it's never know on your calculator. He's like, oh, yeah. 81, and it's and on the thing it says 65. No, I calculated. So anyway, 83, 83. Which gives us our uh, official oh score God. for Calumet 16 for the Ultimate Spirits right. Competition. 82, it's a gold. It's a gold. What a good release. What a good release. And for again, for our members of Curiosity Private, we are now going to be doing a head-to-head uh, -head with the 15. For everybody else. I want to know what I scored on the. No, this goes now. to show. Yeah, um, don't that. don't believe everything on the internet, including uh, including us. I haven't seen but, any reviews of no, this but, yet. No, but you know they kept saying stuff like, "Oh, this is another tote. This is garbage. This oh, yeah, is no. this and yeah, that." That's like and rumor whatever. bill stuff. Again, I haven't I'm, seen I'm reviews. Like, you can taste. About you can that. taste some craft here. You can yeah, say, you yeah. can really taste some craft. That's in right. Here. That's right. Joel, stick us out. Tell us what you guys think in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up or thumbs down. Either way, just let us know. Subscribe for more videos from Curiosity Public. Uh, if you want to help us out, please consider joining Curiosity Private. It's our membership program here on YouTube. We are also on Patreon. We are selling t-shirts. Not that one. This one. Oh, that's a cool one, too. Uh, links in the description. <laughs> Dylan's getting fudgy. Uh, we uh, do have a podcast on the major podcast platforms out there. As always, stay safe, stay healthy. Stay curious! Sonic says, if you've God. ever flown a fighter jet.
that's kind of what it looks like in your hood. Mm. Oh, what is I'm this? a pilot. 